This is Margaret Burr, Director of Education at the Dubuque Museum of Art. And I'm Christine Schiesel, Member and Visitor Services Associate and Docent. Welcome to a conversation about art we call More Than Meets the Eye, the story behind the work. We hope to take the stress and stuffiness out of looking at art. Our videos will feature work from the Craft Invitational, which is at the museum until October 11th. The exhibition features 70 works in ceramic, glass, wood, paper, and metal by talented craftspeople in the region. Now, Madison-based glass artist Don Friedlich is a leading figure in contemporary American jewelry. His designs combine a variety of glass techniques with precision metal smithing. These exquisite pieces are crafted with imagination and great care and seem to glow from within. Friedlich's days as an art student taught him to approach his work with directness, a sensitivity to materials, and a simplicity of composition. While a student at the Rhode Island School of Design, Friedlich was taught by the renowned glass artist Dale Chihuly, who counseled him to apply your creativity not just to your art, but also to your life. Yes. Taking this advice to heart, he was curious to learn new jewelry making techniques and explore a variety of materials, including slate, ceramic tile, and semi-precious stones. Then in 2001, seeking to expand his range, Friedlich began collaborating with glass blowers as an artist in residence at the studio of the Corning Museum of Glass. Ten years ago, he added digital technology to his toolkit using computer-aided design, CAD, and a computer-controlled machining, CNC, to produce his graphic molds. Now, this magnification series brooch is composed of glass and gold, which Friedley began working with in 1997. Uh, he was intrigued by what happens when the glass brooch is placed against fabric. What happens is the glass acts as a lens and magnifies the texture of the fabric. When the glass is colored like this blue brooch, a subtle color shift takes place that becomes part of the jewelry and the clothing design. Friedlich's work is inspired by the natural world and the simplicity and elegance of the Japanese aesthetic. This aqua series brooch suggests wave patterns in water, as well as the raked sand and Japanese Zen gardens. Mm, so beautiful. Well, food and humor are important to Friedlich, but he spent most of his career working abstractly. So the idea of casting oranges, asparagus, celery, etc., was out of his comfort zone. When he decided to try it after five years, it was a revelation. He found that transforming these everyday objects into wearable art allowed people to see the beauty of their forms in a new light. Plus, as Friedlich, and we may all agree, the idea of wearing an apple or a stalk of celery as a brooch makes us smile. Oh, indeed. I, I wonder what he'll try next, a, a leaf hmm. or a parsnip, perhaps? <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? Uh, Christine, here's a thought. Would you imagine Nassau and jewelry to be connected? Hmm. Well, they are. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, this Luma series brooch is from Friedlich's newest work, created from dichroic glass. What he's doing is examining jewelry seen in motion. A dichroic glass is both reflective and transparent. And depending on what ag angle you view it, the color intensifies, fades, or disappears. Now for the Nassau connection. Uh, dichroic glass was originally developed by Nassau for the visors of astronauts. Really, Margie? That's fascinating. <laughs> Indeed. Now, Friedlich was also inspired by the color field paintings of Mark Rothko, who is one of my all-time favorites, and the light sculptures of Dan Flavin and James Terrell. And on the surface, these brooches appear to glow like neon tubes. Wow. As we have seen, Don Friedlich pushes the boundaries of materials and techniques. 
um, but he does so with curiosity and enthusiasm as he moves on to the next jewelry making challenge. I find that very commendable. Oh, absolutely. Now, friends, um, we want to thank you for spending time with us. We hope to see you at the museum because truly nothing is better than having a conversation with art in person. Christine and I will be back soon with another installment of More Than Meets the Eye, the story behind the work. Until then, be well and be kind. And I hope to hear and see you all soon. <laughs>